Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Combo Breaker 99. I'm back with another video. All right, y'all, just want to talk about this upcoming flyweight fight, this uh, rematch between Caitlyn Chikagan and Jennifer Maya. I'm not really going to do like a technical breakdown of this fight because I think it's kind of, I think it's going to kind of play out the same way. I will give you my prediction, uh, but I think it's going to kind of play out the same way as the first fight. You know, um, there might be some changes and some adjustments in here, but I don't think there was like some big, big drastic changes in either one of these fighters you know I, I don't think either one of these fighters have changed that much in the past two years but um what I did want to talk about is uh the uh pre-fight interviews you know I watched those last night with Caitlin and um, Jennifer Maya and I just want to talk about some different points with both of these fighters you know because um after hearing them you know kind of give you know their answers answers to some of these questions I have to say you know I, I have to give both of these fighters a lot of respect but there's still some questions i have even about jennifer maya um as far as you know her confidence going into this uh valentina shevchenko fight and is it partly you know is it part is it kind of like she's feeling herself a little bit too much for going five rounds with valentina shevchenko you know is it like is it some false confidence in there you know i'm not sure you know so i want to talk about that a little bit but first off um caitlin chikagan uh like i said I'm a fan of Caitlyn. You know, I got to give her respect because, you know, um, I think she is that one fighter in the flyweight division that's still holding it down. You know, she kind of knows her position after losing um, after losing to the champion, Valentina Shevchenko. She kind of plays her position as one of the gatekeepers, and she doesn't really mind that right now. You know, she's not really minding that role right now because she's still getting, um, she's still getting paid, and that's why I got to show her a lot of respect because her motivation is the money. You know, if it's not the belt, it's got to be the money, right? Because this is their career, right? And I think she really has been taking it into her hands to say, you know, I'm not going to complain and say I'm not making any money. I'm going to just keep fighting. You know, she said that, like, she said she never really skipped out on a fight. She said, hey, it's a paycheck, so I'm going to take it, right? She says it's a check, so I'm going to try to take this fight. And she said anybody from 1 through 15 could get it. You know, it's not like she's just looking at the top five. She said there's a lot of these other young fighters getting hyped up right now. So she was like, hey, I, I'll take them on. I'll put them through the test because it's a check. So I think with that type of motivation, even if it is just financial and not like legacy like Shevchenko at this point, you still get good fights out of her because, you know, she still has to go into the gym and prepare her to her to the best of her ability, work on her craft and, you know, um, just build herself up to get that money and make herself worth something. Right. So, like I said, even if she doesn't ever get that title shot, I think Caitlyn Chikagan just sticking around is going to be a good test for all these fighters. And it's kind of needed. It's needed, you know what I mean, before you can get to Shevchenko because I think Chikagan promotes, like, a threat to these fighters in a way no other fighter can. Like, Andrade, she promotes her the threats in a different way, you know, with the power and that physicality, you know what I mean, that type of, you know, raw energy she's going to bring at you that hulk style you know what i mean she's going to go in there and smash you where caitlin chikagan you know she's like a rubik's cube or something you know or she's like that movie the cube you know where you have to where you locked in the cube and you gotta you gotta you gotta figure your way out through each room you know what i mean and if you don't you'll lose right so that's kind of what it is with like caitlin chikagan you know she's the one that kind of makes you have to think and uh she'll do it for three rounds because she's not going to finish you right she's not going to finish you so I think Caitlin Chikagan is a really big test for any of these young prospects right now. And uh, with her saying that, I think that she knows that. And that kind of gives her another level of confidence because she is that one to say, OK, who's the next one that wants to get into the top 10? Well, come on, I'm going to take you for a walk. You know what I mean? If you don't have the cardio to last with her, boom, she's got you. Right. So, um, yeah, yeah. So I'm a fan. I'm definitely a fan of Caitlin Chikagan. You know, like I said, for one, I am a boxing fan, so, you know, I do like the fact that she can go in there and box these girls' heads off at times, but it's just the fact that, you know, she'll take these girls and make them look bad. Like, like when I did an interview with Chris Bird, you know, Chris Bird said the same thing. Like, some people, they'd rather fight Mike Tyson and get knocked out by Mike Tyson than fight him because they wouldn't want to go in there 12 rounds and look bad, you know what I mean? Because it's like, oh, man, this guy with no power just took us to school in the slick defense, we could never get a hit off on him. It's going to really make us look bad versus just getting knocked out by Mike Tyson in one round, right? So she's kind of in that same category where, you know, she'll stay in there with you for three rounds or five rounds. And if you can't do anything, it's like, oh, man, like, where, where did you train at? You know what I mean? It's like, 
how, how, how come you couldn't finish this person right so uh yeah in that in that um in that aspect i do like her style but yeah i, I would like to see more finishes from her but hey if she's getting the wins like that getting the money i can't get mad at her um as for jennifer maya on the other hand you know jennifer maya i do like the fact that she has that confidence and she has something to go for again you know she feels like hey um this fight could lead to a title shot and she has to go back in there and keep winning you know after beating jessica i she was like hey you know i'll fight again and if that earns me a title shot i'm ready but at the same time i kind of have to ask myself like hmm is she gotta have that false confidence after going in there with shevchenko for five rounds because again it wasn't like you know this wasn't like amanda nunez shevchenko close right it wasn't like a majority decision for shevchenko split decision for shevchenko or it wasn't controversial in any way really jennifer maya just won one round right she just won one round i mean she really showed that she was tough and strong and durable but she never really showed like a big threat or like she could land or really get off on shevchenko or take shevchenko out of her game right she never really took valentina out of her game she never really like frustrated valentina she never offset valentina but except for one round you know so um I don't really think there's uh, a lot of evidence in there for her to just say, OK, if I get these fights, I deserve it 100 percent. I mean, I would like to see it just because she's calling for it, you know, and if she goes in there and destroys Caitlyn Kagan or stops Caitlyn Kagan this time around, then I can't argue that because she'll have beaten the number two fighter. Right. She'll have beaten the number two fighter and she'll ask for the fight and she's going to call out the champion for a second time. Unlike some of these fighters that never call out the champion the first time. <laughs> You know, Jennifer Myers going to call out a second time. So I'll say, hey, she earned it. You know, I wouldn't mind that. But I still think that there has to be some improvements made. And one point that Caitlin Kagan made about Jennifer Myers was like, you know, oh, she's definitely one of the best in the division. But she hasn't really made a lot of improvements. You know, she don't think she's made a great deal of improvements. You know, she went five rounds with Shevchenko, but there hasn't been a, a, a great deal of improvements. And another piece of evidence to that was the Jessica I fight. You know, the Jessica I fight, to me, that was a fight where Jennifer Maya should have taken the fight to the ground and really just mauled and dominated and outboxed Jessica I. But Jessica I was actually landing on Jennifer Maya at times. You know, the fight was tougher than it should have been. You know, so that right there kind of shows you another piece of uh, the tool that she's going to need to beat a Shevchenko in a rematch for Jennifer Maya, the IQ. You know, that IQ was lacking in that Jessica I fight. For Jennifer Maya, it should have been a straight ground fight, straight mauling fight, same way Cynthia Cavillo did. And if Jennifer Maya would have taken Jessica I down to the ground, she probably could have stopped her or submitted her. Because if Cynthia Cavillo can take her, take her down and she's smaller, Jennifer Maya should have did that because she's bigger and stronger. And she's a better jiu-jitsu practitioner, right? So I thought that, you know, Jennifer Maya fought the wrong fight in that Jessica I fight. And that, um, that kind of answers some questions about how much improvement she's been making. You know, yeah, I think she could go in there with Shevchenko again and maybe last five rounds. But then again, maybe not, because if she doesn't find an adjustment, Valentina might say, OK, this was easy the first time around for five rounds. I got comfortable easy. I get I get in there, find my rhythm, find my rhythm even faster and maybe stop her early. You know, so, yeah, it, it could uh, very well work out that way. So I just don't want to see her get that false confidence like, OK, you know, I went in there. I lasted five rounds. No, like. It's, it's got to be more than that. You know, it's got to be offsetting Valentina. It's got to be frustrating. It's, it it had to be to the point where people were arguing, saying, no, Jennifer Maya won that fight. No, Jennifer Maya won that fight. Not us just saying, oh, Jennifer Maya lasted five rounds. You know, she went five rounds on like Murphy or, or uh, Ch Chikagan or Andrade. No, it's got to be more than that there, right? So, yeah, man, uh, with that, um. The direction for both of these fighters, I think Caitlin Chikagan, she's going to stick around for a while. And, and, and in my opinion, I think that's a good thing. We need her there. Like, she's not like some of these other fighters that need to be weeded out because I think Chikagan has her lane. You know, I think Chikagan has her lane where she's going to have that motivation to fight for money. And if you're getting your money, I'm not knocking your hustle. Like, as long as you're putting up the good fights and you want to fight and you're calling people out, I'm cool with that. Like, if she wants to continue to call out these prospects and be a prospect killer fine fine you know if now if these girls start getting in there knocking her out and taking her out then it's time to retire but if she continues to fight for the money and stay active she's cool where she's at to me and she's got no wear and tear and she's still fresh 
hey, that's a good test for these girls. Cause I still want to see Caitlyn and Manon fight one day. That's still going to be a good fight. So she's not one to be weeded out. She's not one to be weeded out yet. Same with Jennifer Mai. I like her energy right now. She wants to go for a second title shot. She's talking big game. You know, like I said, some of these other girls aren't even calling for a first title shot. So Jennifer Maya, I think direct the direction she's in right now, she's staying. But um, as far as my prediction, I think history might repeat itself for real, man. I, you know, unless Jennifer Maya does something crazy and, you know, uses her IQ here and goes in there and lands something big and says, OK, I'm the stronger fighter and takes it down. If she doesn't do that, I see the fight going the same way, you know, because I, I still think that Caitlyn's the faster fighter here. She's the more awkward fighter here. And if Jessica, I could get off on Jennifer Maya throughout their fight, then I think Caitlyn's going to get off and get out of harm's way. You know, I think she's going to try to keep the fight standing. She's just going to land punches and bunches, kicks and um control the clinch until she can break and go right back out and keep winning rounds that way you know um i think she'll probably win it uh two rounds to one again you know i think jennifer Maya might get in a round here or maybe get in a close round so it might be closer where it's like a split decision but i still see caitlin winning this fight um now i would like to see jennifer Maya win because jennifer wants that rematch with shevchenko you know and i think that would be nice to see somebody with the guts to say i've been 10 rounds or i went a second fight with with Valentina Shevchenko you know so yeah final thoughts guys like I said I just kind of want to get on here freestyle a little bit because I was just looking at these interviews and um just uh like I said some interesting things just came out um from both of these fighters and you know made me kind of think about the direction of the division and where they stand like it's not really time for Chikagin or Maya to retire I think there's still some of the best flyweights and they are needed now, some of the others that we we talk about, like Roxy, Jessica, I, uh, even even Joe, even Jojo at this point, you know, some of these fighters, they've just been taking a lot of beatings. And, you know, I, I would like to see them retire. But, you know, with Chikagin, I, I still think she has a big test. You know what I mean? Like she lacks power, hasn't finished anybody in the UFC, but she still got something that really makes these girls out there look bad. And I I love it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just love it because the thing about it is it's like wow it's just like this girl beat you with her mental you know what i mean so yeah i respect that but yeah jennifer maya um yeah I, I think that if she gets this win and looks good it might earn her a second title shot and i think yeah i think she'll definitely ask for it now uh caitlin kagan she mentioned the title shot you know she was like she'll just keep fighting until it's time to get it but she didn't really make make it vocal like Jennifer Maya did, you know, that she wants it. So I think she just has her position and she's just playing it well right now. You know, it's all about the dollar for her. So got to respect the hustle, guys. Let me know who y'all think is going to win this fight in the comments section. Um, what about y'all? Like I said, Caitlin, you know, she's, she's still solid. Jennifer Maya, still solid. They don't need to go anywhere right now. What do y'all think? Combo Breaker 99, I'm out. Subscribe. Peace.